All right, so uh, Hex Undying, this is a perk in Dead by Daylight. It is a Blight Teachable perk, very rare. Uh, what does Undying do? I'm pretty sure everyone knows what this perk does, but in case you don't, while Hex Undying is active, survivors within two meters of any totem have their aura revealed for six seconds. When another Hex totem is cleansed, that Hex transfers to an available dull totem, losing any tokens in the process. All right, so this is a very powerful perk for a number of reasons. I'm pretty sure we can all guess why. You pair this with Ruin, Ruin gets cleansed, it's on another totem, guess what? You're on Backwater Swamp, go fuck yourself, right? That's why this perk is good. But there's a problem, and it's a big problem with this perk, and that is the fact that it gives too much awareness, and the killers who don't need the benefit can capitalize on the benefit extraordinarily well. The problem with Undying is not that it can transfer a Hex. Stop trying to fix that. That's not the problem. You're just going to make it worse. How you fix Undying, that's very simple, is you make the aura reading come after the totem is cleansed. Now, Blight doesn't have an advantage over Wraith, right? Or over Clown. Clown has no map mobility. Blight does. If Blight is on Orman, and he sees you across the map cleansing a totem, he can get there. He can use five Blight Rush tokens and get on your ass. Clown sees you, he jiggles his belly, and he laughs. There's nothing Clown can do about it. It's no longer you jumping between totems as Blight, or as Billy, or as Nurse, and just ruining everyone's day and fun, because a killer like that doesn't need that added awareness on an already powerful perk. So I think Undying as a perk is actually healthy for the game. It teaches players that there's more than just one objective. But at the same time, it really is not fun in its current state. So uh, th th those are my thoughts on Undying. I was asked a question a little while back on stream uh, what I thought about Ruin and Undying. And I said at the time, you know, it doesn't really matter to me. You know, play whatever perks you want. And I still think that, you know, I I'm not going to, I don't give a shit, you know, Run DS Unbreakable, I don't care. Fuck, <laughs> it's in the game. Bring a Mori. I don't give a shit, bring a key. Doesn't matter. Play a map offering, I don't care. I have almost 3,000 hours in this game. You think I take this game seriously? All, I, all I'm trying to say is that the solution to Undying is actually very simple. And I don't think it will take all that long for the change to be implemented. I'm sure the developers have already thought about this. And uh, I know someone out there is going to be typing away in the comments. Oh, but Retribution! Yeah, Retribution does that for all survivors. I'm talking just for the one survivor that does it. Just the one. Just the one survivor who cleanses a totem. Boom. Their aura is revealed. Not all survivors. Uh, so that's the solution to Undying. Thanks for coming to my, uh, my scuffed TED Talk. I'm dead by daylight. Have a great life. I don't know. See ya.